Hello, fellow trumpeters and musicians. My name is Josh Rozepka, and today is Mute Monday. If you're new around here, Mute Monday is a weekly series where I discuss and demonstrate different trumpet mutes. And today I have three amazing mutes to be sharing with you. These three mutes are kind of new on the scene. They have only been around for a handful of years. They haven't been around for five, six, seven decades like some of the other mute companies. And they are taking the trumpet world by storm. A lot of my friends and colleagues own and use these mutes and it is for good reason. They play great. So I'm very excited to be sharing with you the Zinger mutes by Trumcore as well as the Harmon mute from Solo. And these three mutes, I decided I would put all of them in the same video because they're all pretty new. They're all very popular and they're actually also kind of shaped similarly. Um, you know, they're not quite a bubble mute, but they're not exactly a traditional Harmon shape and they play and sound great. So I'm excited to be able to play these for you. Now, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about these first. So, the Zinger Mute, I think that's appropriately named because these have got a zing to the sound. They really project well, they have got a great response and they play in tune and uh, they really work very well in ensembles. This aluminum version is, just check that out, super sharp. I love that, that black look on the aluminum. It's really, a, uh, it's really a great look to it. And then there is the copper version and this is a mute to behold. It is heavy, it is, it is a massive mute, and it is, again, the craftsmanship on these mutes is just, uh, is just wonderful. Uh, the way they put these together and uh, the consistency, I've played a lot of these at ITG and my friends have these mutes, I've played them. The consistency is great. The copper version, this is a lot heavier than the aluminum version and because of that, it really helps the sound project and, uh, and cut. So you'll hear the difference between the two of those. Now, the third mute today is this solo Harman mute and this is a combination of, of aluminum and copper. Of course, you can see that. Um, also beautifully made. The construction on this is, is just uh, wonderful and there's something unique about this mute, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it real close to you. You see the seam on that. You see how smooth it is. That is a special uh, a process that Solo has developed in order to join the aluminum and the copper together. And uh, I believe uh, they've even patented it. And the idea behind that is that the seam on the side of the mute, it's actually folded over and then on the inside of the mute, there is a little bump, right? There's a, a ridge where that metal is connected. And the idea behind the solo mute is that they don't have that seam. They've, they've created a new process for joining the metal together. And because of that, the airflow inside of the mute is uh, disturbed less and it is more free blowing. And the intonation then, uh, I believe they say is, is gonna be better because of that process. So um, that is a great innovation in the trumpet world. So we will hear how uh, that stacks up to the Zinger mutes and how all three of them uh, sound compared next to each other. So I will be demonstrating these three mutes uh, as I always do side by side. That will give you an idea of what these three mutes sound like and the projection on them. And I will add, I will be taking the stem out for all of these demonstrations because, well, most trumpet players out there, you're not using the stem when you're playing and I don't really use the stem when I'm playing on these mutes. So I wanna get the demonstration out there for what most of you are gonna be using it for. I'll be demonstrating a whole bunch of different things on these mutes so you can really hear how they stack up next to each other and how the tone and articulation uh, is from one to the next. So without any further introduction, here are the Trumcore Zinger mutes and the Solo Harmon mute.
So you've just heard all three of those mutes and hopefully all of those examples gave you a great sense on how these mutes sound and respond. I think that the aluminum zinger mute is a great mute. However, if, if I were to choose between the two of them, I would get the copper one because this one just has a more resonant and full sound. It speaks a little bit you know, quicker and I think it's just more even uh, through and through. Additionally, the lower notes on this one really came through a lot easier and fuller. The intonation on both of these was, was pretty good. Um, I would say that uh, as far as harmon mutes go, the intonation was, was excellent. The lowest notes, the low G and F sharp, they were okay, but I think that it's really tough to get a harmon mute that just plays that beautiful low F sharp nice and full without having to you know really manipulate it too much. The solo mute, I think that you could uh, hear that this played equally well, but just a little bit different. I think that the articulation on this mute for me felt easier. It felt a lot easier for me to really get a, a crisp uh, articulation on this mute. And I feel like it spoke really well. That being said, I think personally for me that the, the core of the sound of this aluminum zinger mute was a little bit more full. So for me, it's a little bit of a, uh, uh, a, a compromise between these two mutes. On one hand, I think that the feel and the response and the sound of this one is a little bit better. On the other hand, this mute just has that articulation. It just is a little more open and free blowing. So, you know, there's always going to be a compromise. This is why I've been on this journey collecting hundreds of mutes. And hopefully playing all three of these mutes for you today really gave you a good sense of what these mutes sound like. And I would encourage all of you, if you have an opportunity to try these out, try them out. If you're looking for a new mute that's really going to cut through a section in a big band, either one of these is going to be a great option. I think that this is going to be a little better suited if you're doing solo work. I will say that. I think for solo uh, solo work, if you're just doing a little jazz gig and you're, you're playing into a microphone or even not, I think that this is the one that I would use for that. Now, this, if you're in a section, if you're, if you're playing in an orchestra, if you're playing in a big band, if you're playing in a uh, pit. This I think you can't go wrong with. This also is a great mute. There's nothing wrong with this mute whatsoever. Sounds great. I just think that they, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to compete with the copper. The copper is just, is just that much better. All right, for next week's video, I've got three vintage mutes, which I'm excited to be sharing with you. The first one is, is a mute you possibly may have never seen or heard of. This is an old Chicago Cupwow, and when I say Chicago, I mean this is when Humesenberg was still located in Chicago. Um, a lot of you, if you look at the label on your mute, it'll say East Chicago, Indiana, but this is Chicago, Illinois. This is from the original factory. And then I've got two less common Humesenberg mutes. This one they no longer make. This is a Buzzwow mute, and this is from their Indiana factory. And then to round it out, I'm going to be playing the only mute that you can still buy, which is the Mellow Wah mute. And this is an interesting mute, which many of you may not have ever heard of or seen. You can still buy them, and it definitely has its purpose. And, you know, sometimes you may, you may benefit from owning this mute. These ones you can't get unless you find them on, on eBay or somewhere. So... I'm excited to be bringing these three mutes to you next week. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. Uh, every Monday, I'm going to be posting a new video where I'll be discussing trumpet mutes. So, uh, you know, stick around because next week I've got this exciting video and the week after and the week after and the week after until I run out of mutes, which may never happen. So. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.